Bobby Scott's life changed in an instant. The young Canadian seaman was working on the deck of a supply ship in the Caribbean when a cable broke and ripped across his legs. The impact left a four-inch piece of his leg bone lying on the deck. At that moment, I, I, I looked down to see if both my legs were there, and I couldn't really tell the extent of my injury. I could feel pressure. That's about it. All I could feel was a lot of pressure. Amputation looked inevitable. But Bobby's employer medevaced him to the Hospital for Special Surgery in New York, where orthopedist Dr. Austin Fragaman recommended bone transport, an innovative surgical technique used to grow new bone that only a handful of surgeons in the world use routinely. And the basic way it works is that the bone is cracked surgically and then the leg is put into an external fixation device and then the bone is slowly separated one millimeter a day until the desired length is achieved. And typically this is, is used for people who have one leg shorter than the other or people who have a bone defect as in uh, our patient, Mr. Scott. The bone was cut here and lengthened from here to there. That's all new bone. And down here, the bone was cut here and lengthened from here to here. External fixation has evolved with technology, and the device the surgeon used allowed Bobby to walk, chop wood, and even ride his ATV during treatment. Dr. Fragaman specializes in adapting these devices for use in conditions as common as joint arthritis and as complex as Bobby Scott's bone transport. When he told me about this frame and everything, and I was just thinking, wow, <laughs> what am I in for? But uh, he immediately put me at ease. He was, uh, uh, I was just something about him. He put me at ease, and I, I put my whole faith in him. And uh, I, I figured that we could do this. Innovations that we're doing here at, at our institute have really been geared toward increasing the rate of bone healing and also decreasing the time that people need to wear the external fixator. Simple things like adding vitamin D to the patient's regimen may make their bone heal faster. Or putting them on a osteoporosis medicine may actually make their injury heal faster. For Bobby Scott and his family, the surgery paid off. Being a sailor, I, uh, I definitely would like to uh, get back on the ocean, uh, get back on the deck. And uh, because of Dr. Fragman, I have every reason to believe that I will someday stand on the deck of a ship again and be back in my element. Bobby was really determined to get through, and he wanted to keep his leg. That was all we wished, and, and it worked. Dr. Fragman, he, he gave me my leg back. He, he gave me my life back. He was, always used to say, hang in there. You'll, you'll get there and, and here I am.